My name is Jeff Hickson, I'm Director of Technical Sales for the Americas. So Lakeside Software is digital experience monitoring. Um, it, we really understand what, what's going on with the workspaces and the end users. Um, understanding you know, who are good fits for WVD or VDI or um, who needs hardware refreshes, uh, software rationalization. Basically anything and everything that touches that end user, we understand. So with Lakeside and iGel, we don't have a, a particular market that we're looking for. Um, we're about the end users. The end users are in every single market, whether it be retail, whether it be manufacturing, whether it be healthcare, it doesn't matter. We need to provide our end users with a quality end user experience. It's, it's all about the end user and understanding what that user is doing and how they're using their digital workspace. Um, in this day and age, there's lots of technology out there, lots of things that that user is doing and they demand. As admins, we don't have good visibility in, in how they're using those devices and what they're using them for. Uh, the way you use Excel and the way I use Excel are completely different. Same application, different experience. So making sure that we understand those needs are going to be very important. That's a big part of what Lakeside does, is understanding and monitoring that digital workspace. So from, from an iGels partnership with Microsoft, obviously it's, it's bringing a lot for the WVD solution. Um, being able to monitor and manage those endpoints, especially for your remote users. They don't always come in. We don't know what it is that they're doing on those devices when they leave the network. So being able to secure those remote devices and being able to, to update and monitor those solutions is going to be critical, especially for the WVD solution. Um, with our tie-in with iGel as well too, um, we can see that endpoint regardless of where they're at. They're sitting at their coffee shop, they're sitting at home. We understand what's going on on that endpoint. So being able to say it's slow, where is it slow? Is it the fact that it's the endpoint? Is it WVD? Is it connection? Where's the problem at? Um, so that relationship with Microsoft really takes that solution to the next level. So what trends are, are impacting the, the move to the cloud? I think it started a lot with Office 365. When Microsoft introduced and, and, and set forth Office 365, we started thinking more about the cloud and moving our apps to the cloud. And we were very successful at doing that. We were able to get our apps off to the cloud. We were able to, to offload that workload um, and turn things more into an OpEx instead of a CapEx. I'm not having to upgrade Exchange servers. I'm not having to maintain and support that equipment. So, after that, we're like, well, we can probably do this with desktops as well, too. So now that Microsoft has, has adopted that and they're pushing WVD in the cloud, desktop as a service, people are like, well, I don't have to maintain all of this hardware now. I don't have to do these upgrades for infrastructure. We've done VDI. It's expensive. When we're sitting there and upgrading our, our servers every three years, that adoption to, to cloud-based applications was, was critical. It now allows us to just basically pay a light bill. Pay for what we use, pay for what we need. I don't have to worry about maintaining all of that equipment, upgrading it every couple of years, worrying about the security threats um, and securing that hardware and the desktops here. All that is done for us with Microsoft using WVD. I think iGel brings a unique solution to the market um, to lower end user compute cost. Uh, the fact that I can repurpose hardware that's several years old and bring it back to life into a functional PC or a functional connection point. Um, it's to the point where, you know, I don't have to go out and buy new hardware or new clients. Um, I can use what I have, repurpose them, and still deliver an excellent end user experience. So uh, iGel brings it, it back full fold again as far as reducing costs because again VDI can be expensive and if I can reuse what I already have more power to it. One of the the unique use cases that we had with iGel um, is we had a remote user connecting to their VDI Every day at three o'clock, like clockwork, users would complain, it's slow, we're having issues. 
we're checking the network, we're checking VDI, we're checking everything and anything internally. We can't find anything. With our integration with iGel, we were able to see that endpoint and monitor what that endpoint was doing. We could see at that point in time, at three o'clock, the latency to their gateway, their local home gateway, would just spike. And we're like, okay, so it's a home network issue. What, what happens at three o'clock? She says, nothing. What happens, like, my kids come home from school. Like clockwork, the kids come home from school, they have their devices, they get online, they get on the gaming systems, they were saturating her home network, making it slow. So again, had nothing to do with, with anything that the company was supporting. It was just the fact that their home network was slow. With our integration, with iGel, we were able to monitor that endpoint device, see that network saturation, be able to solve the problem. With iGel and Lakeside together, we focus on just that, the end users.